Hi guys, and good morning. Um, you know what, happy Friday. I Thank God it's Friday, right? I hope you're all having a wonderful week and you're gonna have an even better weekend. Um, today I wanna talk to you about something that is incredibly important, okay? Very, very important, um, and it affects our health, it, both mentally and physically, okay? So much so that when we don't do it, um, it leads to chronic sickness and, and the, most, uh, the most tangible of those, the most directed link to, of those being made to cancer. Uh, my name is Corey Schumann and I'm a certified personal trainer. I'm a certified um, online coach and I'm the mom of two little boys. And usually, you know, I talk about all things health and wellness and this definitely, it's a little bit outside the scope of what I usually talk about, but it definitely falls under the category of wellness, okay? Um, no joke, the more research I do, the more blown away I am by it. And what I want to talk to you about today is forgiveness, okay? Or rather, lack thereof, okay? Unforgiveness. Um, and I know that might sound a little bit like hippy-dippy, right? It sounds a little bit like whatever. And I probably lost a couple of you there. But I dare you to listen and keep an open mind. Stay with me and just hear me out. Um, because this stuff, like I said, it has really blown my mind. Um, there is a chief of surgery at the Center for Treatment Centers of America. And his name is Dr. Stanford. And he is a very prominent, very um, well-known, well-renowned doctor. And he says flat out that refusing to forgive makes people sick and keeps them that way. And I'm quoting, okay? Um, that is a really bold statement, especially for someone so high up in the medical community. Um, pretty, pretty intense thing for him to say publicly, openly, right? And here's the thing. Um, it's not just opinion or theory anymore. It used to be. That was kind of just like a kind of like a theory, like a, some of the doctors maybe thought maybe it had something to do with it. But now they're actually starting to be able to trace how and why it does affect our bodies and our minds, right? What, how and why it does cause sickness in the body, which is pretty amazing, okay? Um, see, and here's the thing, and this is where I'm just going to get real with you for a second, okay? Unforgiveness, uh, it's not just directed at, at one person or a group of people or, you know, even a situation um, like you think it is, okay? That's how it feels, right? That's how it feels like you did me wrong and so I can't let that go. And so I'm angry at you. And somehow, somehow, and I say we because I'm included in this. I have done the same thing. Um, I work on this all the time because I've, I've been the same way. But somehow we feel like our anger if we let that go, that is somehow giving them a pass on what they did, right? If I hold on to it, it is somehow validating the fact that you hurt me, right? And that's kind of how it feels. Um, is that so familiar? Like, can I get an amen, right? <laughs> um, because that's that's kind of how we how it, we operate in a sense. Like, we go, oh my God, you hurt me, and that needs to be recognized. That needs to be addressed. And if you're not going to say you're sorry to me, you're not going to come to me with an apology, then I'm going to be angry, and I'm going to be bitter, and I'm going to hold on to all this stuff stuff because that's not right. And you're probably right. It's probably not right. But the problem is um, we move on and we kind of feel like they're the ones that are suffering. Like, ha, I'm mad at you. Ha, ha, ha. But what happens? <laughs> what happens when we hold on to that unforgiveness towards them is that it creates all kinds of stuff negative emotions and all kinds of, of, of uh, reactions in our body, in our body, right? So we're mad at them, but the effect is on us. And so honestly, um, these, oh my gosh, I'm just thinking of this, this parallel that I've, I have been kind of drawing between these things because it is amazing to me how our minds work, that, that idea that like, I just am gonna stay mad at you, but really it's just hurting us. Um, and honestly, let's be real, half the time, I mean, maybe more, that we're mad at somebody, they don't even know we're mad. <laughs> own business, sorry about that, they went on with their own business, they went on with their lives, and yeah, they may have realized that they hurt you, like they may have somewhere inside feel, feel guilty or whatever, but for the most part, like they just move on. We're the ones that are still burdened with that. We're the ones that are still carrying that, that weight, and we're tired because of it, and we get sick because of it, right? Um, so feelings like resentment and anger and bitterness and even hatred are felt in our bodies. And these emotions have a very scientific, very definitive link to anxiety and in turn they produce higher levels of adrenaline and in particular the, the culprit here is cortisol they pr produce very high levels of cortisol in our bodies and on top of that they're gonna deplete um, something called 
and uh, well, they're called like killer cells. That's what the medical community kind of refers to them as. These are basically, essentially, they're like the foot soldiers in the human body to fight off cancer. Okay, they're they're like the go get them, like gonna knock out the cancer. And and these emotions in our body actually deplete those levels, which is huge. And on top of that. Higher cortisol levels also hinder um, and suppress the immune system. So what that all means is basically not only will these emotions make you sick, but then once then they'll prevent you from getting better once you once that happens. Once you are sick, you can't get better. So it's kind of a double whammy there. Um, a recent survey, in this survey, they took a survey from every single hard to treat cancer patient in the United States, men and women, every single one they surveyed these difficult to treat patients in the United States that had cancer. And they were, for whatever reason, they were, their treatment wasn't working. It really, they just, they tried multiple different um, avenues of treatment. They surveyed every single one in the United States. And they found that 61% of all of those cases could be traced to cases of unforgiveness. And in half of those, severe unforgiveness. I mean, that is like, that's, staggering guys like that's huge um does it say disp uh, definitive causation no but that correlation is so big that you can't ignore it it's it's too much to ignore and in fact so much so that unforgiveness is actually now even classified as a disease in medical books and something called forgiveness therapy is something that they're using for to treat successfully, I might add, to treat cancer patients, to treat um, diseases now. There's something called the Unforgiveness Project that's sweeping the nation that they're trying to build this, excuse me, I, I just said that wrong, the Forgiveness Project, that they're teaching Americans, they're, they're trying to see if they can raise the general level of health across the United States just by teaching people to forgive. So this is something that has just started. I mean, this is really a big deal that's gaining momentum, it's gaining attention, it's gaining awareness, and I think it, it should. Um, study have found excuse me, that the act of forgiveness um, can, can reap huge rewards in your health. It lowers the risk of heart attack. It, it improves cholesterol levels in your sleep. It, um, it reduces blood pressure. It reduces anxiety, like I mentioned. It reduces depression. It can even reduce physical pain, which is a whole paradigm shift in the way that we think about physical ailments, right? Um, and perhaps, I, really, I mean, I could just go on and on, but really, I think the most important thing that I can say to you today is that that forgiveness is a choice. And I know I, it's not an easy one. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's like, oh, la la la, just forgive, um, because I'm not I'm not that person and I, I get it, it's tough. And it's sometimes it's the, it's the hardest thing you'll ever do. But regardless of how hard it is, it is still a choice. Um, and, and deciding not to forgive someone it won't, or in refusing to move on essentially, it, it won't cause the person that hurt you pain. It will just make you sick. And so, I mean, all I'm asking today is just think about it. I just wanna bring awareness to this topic and I just want you to think about it. Take some time today to really um, reflect on your life and, and think, take stock of how you're feeling. Think back to some situations that were maybe really hurtful or offensive to you or um, really upsetting or you know, maybe even some things that broke your heart, some real serious things, you know, big and small. Just kind of think back over those things and, and really be honest with yourself on how you feel about them. Are you still super angry? Are you, do you feel bitter at what happened? Happened, or maybe what didn't happen, right? Um, are you, is there any resentment? Do you feel that anger build up when you think about it? Those are all really good signs that maybe you haven't moved on. Um, and now I'm not saying that once you forgive, it'll never hurt again. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that those negative emotions like hatred, anger, resentment, bitterness, those things, those things go away when we forgive, when we really forgive. So, you know, just a suggestion today, um, if the answer is yes to any of those questions I just asked, you might wanna work on walking through some steps of forgiveness, um, forgiving whoever or whatever it was that hurt you. It might just save your life, guys. So that's it, guys. I know this is a little bit off topic of my usual, but I really wanted to bring that to you today. I feel like it's a really powerful message. So I hope that this um, touched your heart in some way and, and just kind of raised some awareness in you and maybe maybe sparked some thinking in you that you can change some things. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.